Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel Let's Talk The Talk. I'm your friend and your girl Sonia. For those of y'all who are visiting the channel for the first time, my name is Sonia. I make videos on DIYs, fragrance reviews, self-care, mental health and everything else in between. So the fragrance review I have for you today is for a fragrance that's synonymous with femininity, with class, with sophistication, with maturity. So the fragrance I'm talking about is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain Eau de Toilette version. Now, Angelina Jolie made me buy this, okay? I saw the ad for Mon Guerlain and looking at Angelina Jolie, I could only think that this is how femininity would smell like if the word feminine had a fragrance this would be it and i bought this fragrance okay and let me tell you i am not disappointed now there is so much that i need to talk to you about i've used this fragrance uh, you know just about uh, three or four times and i've tested the fragrance enough so we could go ahead and talk about this so Mon Gurla by Gurla or the Toilette. Now this was released back in 2017. The nose behind this is Thierry Visser and Delphine Gel. Now let's quickly spray this fragrance and see what this smells like. Okay, now the opening of this fragrance is a bit syrupy, but not a sweet syrupy fragrance, all right? Now, this has lavender. Now, I understand that lavender is predominantly used in male fragrances, but let me tell you guys, the way lavender is used in this fragrance, it's super feminine, and trust me, it's only Thierry Wasser who can do that. Now. I don't know what to tell you guys. The lavender in this fragrance is mixed with the other notes so well that you can hardly get a hint of lavender, but when you get it, it's a feminine uh, note, okay? You know what I'm talking about there. Now, there are powdery notes in this fragrance. The powdery notes are from Iris, I believe. There is Jasmine in this fragrance. I can smell rose in this fragrance. and. All these notes are blended so beautifully it smells like a bouquet to me now this fragrance is how a class sophistication femininity would be like you know you, you, this is this is not your uh, juvenile fragrance this is a mature fragrance this is for a woman who knows what she wants. She takes the moment, she owns it, and she lives in the moment. Now, I've watched uh, Jeremy Fragrance review on this um, fragrance, I believe maybe you know about uh, two years ago. That's when I watched it, and I really wanted to have this fragrance. I remember him telling that this is how he would want his wife to smell like or you know this is this is a wife's fragrance and i can definitely agree with you not because this is an old woman fragrance or you know a wife wife fragrance and a boring fragrance but when i smell this fragrance it smells soft it smells loyal i don't know i don't know you know i i know you know to describe a fragrance the word loyal is not something that a person would come up with but yes this fragrance when you smell it's like you know it, it, it's a person who is very loyal dedicated you know she, she's there she's very feminine she's very soft very calm but with a hidden playful side this is effortlessly beautiful you guys even though there is sandalwood and vanilla in this fragrance this is not a gourmand fragrance all right this is a perfect spring or a daytime fragrance and my partner loves this fragrance on me any time that i've worn this fragrance to an event it's only when he requested me to wear it because he loves it so much 
so that he asks me to wear this fragrance especially you know when we go out to any formal event or even when i'm at home he wants me to wear that fragrance he loves it and your man would love it forget about it, your man you would love it if you like uh, floral fragrances with a little bit of lavender and you do not mind to have that you know soft side of lavender in the fragrance you will love it oh my god i i i can't tell you what i what I, what I really think about this fragrance um the scent of this fragrance the scent profile in here is made in such a way that it shouts soft okay it shouts soft so it's very soft it's very subtle but it's there people can smell it on you now as I said, it's not gourmand fragrance, but it's, uh, you know, a very mature fragrance, perfect office wear fragrance, you guys. So if you're looking to wear a fragrance to office, which is not loud, which can definitely, you know, pull a great number of compliments for you, you can go for this fragrance. Now, the only downside to this fragrance, now I know I have hopped on and on about this fragrance. So let me talk a little bit trash about this fragrance, not because I want to, but there is something uh, that is not what I like about this fragrance so I have to tell you because again at the end of the day you're gonna spend your hard-earned money if you're buying this fragrance watching my review I have to tell you this the longevity of this fragrance is shit okay it's shit it just lasts on your body for about two hours the sillage of this fragrance is good for about just 30 to 45 minutes and after that it just dries down on your skin and becomes a skin scent literally the projection again it's very low for about 30 minutes and then no one can smell it maybe you but no one else can so that, that that's on my body i'm telling you guys i don't know how it plays with anyone else's skin chemistry if it lasts on your body for a long time great on sister i'm happy for you but on my skin it just doesn't work uh you know in terms of longevity but the way the fragrance develops on my body oh my god that is the only reason i'm keeping this fragrance but I'm not buying a backup bottle of the fragrance because at this price point I expected a little bit more out of you know a house like Gurla or you know a, a master perfumer like Thierry Vasseur or Delphine Gel. I wanted them to go ahead and you know do something about the longevity I mean that's the problem with a lot of fragrances from the house of Gurla they have shit longevity they make amazing fragrances most many of the fragrances they have great longevity but the ones which actually smell like heaven you want to have that fragrance they have spotty longevity and that is not a great thing you guys especially when you're shilling you know thousands and thousands of rupees to buy a particular fragrance so I am not going to buy a second uh, backup bottle for this. I'm going to use this and once it's done, I'm not buying another bottle of it because I know I can go ahead and maybe you know, move on to other fragrances. But yes, yeah, till the time it's going to be here, I'm going to savor each and every moment of it. So guys, that's my review for Mon Gurla from the House of Gurla or the Toilette. I love this fragrance, but is it worthy? to buy a backer bottle of the fragrance i said no what are your thoughts about it do go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what's the longevity of this fragrance on you what are the notes that you get out of this fragrance and as i said i get you know a couple of notes uh the iris the rose the jasmine the sandalwood the vanilla etc but what are the notes that you get out of it do let me know in the comment section below does it last on your body longer than you know what i said or you know are you facing the same challenge that i am with this fragrance now there is an edp version of this fragrance um i have not tried it because honestly i really don't want to go ahead and you know be disappointed again unless you guys tell me that that lasts longer than this i can definitely go ahead and try that one out so let me know guys if you have tried the edp version of this one i will see you soon with a new review with a new fragrance and till then take care of yourself and smell amazing you darlings
Love you all. I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.